Alright, so today we're going to multiply monomials, polynomials, trinomials, everything. Okay? The most important part is if you have two, let's say you have two different uh, monomials. Okay? Let's say we have x to the third times x to the, to the ninth. Okay? When you multiply, you don't multiply the exponents. What's it say right here you do with the exponents? Add, Add them. Okay, so this is going to be x to the what? 12. 12. You see that? Because not, Timothy, when you multiply, 9 plus 3 is 12. Okay? When you multiply x to the third times x to the ninth, it's not x to the 27. Is it? No. No. Okay? When you multiply, you do what with the exponents? You add them. So it's x to the 12. Okay? That's the basic idea behind what we're doing today. So here on A, we've got 5 to the 5th power times 5 to the 7th power. If I add the exponents, what do I get? 5 to the 12th. 5 to the 12th power. Okay? That's the same thing as, now you can see 5 to the 5th is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Right? And 5 to the 7th is 7 fives. Well, when you put it together, how many fives are there? 12. 12. Okay? And that's as far as I want you to go. You don't have to say... 5 to the 12 and do 5 times 5 times 5 and you calculate it, okay? Now, over here, C has B times B to the 4. Do you remember what the power B is to? One. It's to the 1 power. So B to the 1 times B to the 4th is? B to the 5th. Okay? This one right here, X to the 3rd times X to the 5th, okay? I've got the same base. What's my base? X. So what do I do with the exponents? Yeah. So it's going to be x to the 8. Here I, now this one's different. Do you remember when we had 3 times x minus 2? What did we do? Uh, Starts with a d. Uh, divide. Uh, distribute. Yeah, remember we distributed 3 to both of them? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Because they're in the parentheses, and this is multiplied times the parentheses. But here you do the same thing, you distribute. Okay? What's g to the third times g? G4. G4. G to the fourth power minus. And what's g to the third times 2? G to the fifth. 2 g to the third power. Okay? G times 2, this isn't an exponent, is it? Okay? So g to the third times 2 is just 2 g to the third power. Okay. Now, we're multiplying our monomials, r cubed times r cubed, okay, your base is going to stay r, and you add the exponents, 3 plus 3 is 6, that's the first one. Now, the second one, 2c times 1c to the 4, what's 2 times 1? 2, and C, the base stays the same. Now, what's C understood to be to what power? So T, C to the 1 times C to the 4th is C to the 5th. Now, the way you say this answer is 2C to the 5th power, not 2C5. Okay? 2C to the 5th power. Say it. 2C to the 5th power. We're continuing what we're doing, which is multiplying monomials. 2R squared times R to the 2nd power. Remember, there's understood to be a 1 out front of the R when there's nothing there. Okay? 2 times 1 equals what? 2. R times R, you just put R, and 2, and to the 2 power on both, 2 plus 2 is? So here's your answer on the first one. X to the 5th times X to the 10th, you just add the exponents and you get X to the what? 15. 15. Now, some of you are going to be tempted to say 5 times 10 and give me 50 on the test. You have to add the exponents when you're multiplying monomials. Now, here we've got 3a times a to the fifth. What is a understood to be to what power? Whoa. To the 1. So 3a is just 3a and 1 plus 5 is? So that's your answer when you multiply these two together. Here I've got 1y to the 7th times 1y to the 9th, and that's going to be 1y to the what? 16th, 16th power, because 9 plus 7 is 16. 
So that's your answer on both. Now, if you don't want to say 1y to 16, you could just say y to 16 and be done. Now, here we're multiplying a monomial by a what? Hogomil. It's one, two terms, so it's a binomial. Monomial by a binomial. And we have to do what? Distribute. Distribute. What's y times y? Y squared. What's y times negative 3? 3y. Three uh -huh. 3 times y is 3y. And it's a mi minus 3y. Guys, you got to know that there's a difference between y times y squared, which is y to the third. But when you multiply it 3 times y, that's just 3y. Okay? y times 3 is not y to the third, it's 3y. Okay? What do I do on this one? Distribute. Distribute. What's x squared times x to the third? x to the fifth. x to the fifth. And what's x squared times 2? Two? 2x two squared. 2x squared. That's correct. You just put this out front of this. What's 2q squared times 2q? Two, two. 2 times 2 is? And then q squared times q to the 1 is? Q to the 3rd power. Minus, because it says minus right here. What's 2q squared times 1? No. Two, two, yeah. Anything times 1 is just the anything. So what's 2q squared times 1? 2q squared. Okay, so there's your answer right there. So you just multiplied monomials by... The last three examples today are going to multiply this monomial times this binomial. A times A is? A squared. A, squared. A times 4 is? 4A. 4A. And then you put whatever this sign is, you put it right there. Okay? Now these aren't like terms. This is A squared, this is 4A. They're not like terms, so you can't combine them. Here I got R cubed times R to the fifth. What is that? R to the A. R to the A. I put whatever this sign is. Now what's 5 times R cubed? 5 R cubed. And that's your answer. They're not like terms. They have the same variable but a different exponent, so they're not like terms. Here I've got 3 q, q squared times q squared. What is that? 4 q 4. 3 q and 2 power, 2 power, add them up, you get 4. Okay? And 3 q squared times 2 is what? Yeah, you got to put a plus. Now what's 2 times 3 q squared? 6 q squared. 6 q squared. Now, are these like terms? Yes. No. no, they don't have the same exponent. Therefore, these are your three answers. Okay, you distributed, and those are your answers. So today you learned how to multiply a monomial times a binomial or anything else. You could have done it by a trinomial if you wanted to. Okay, remember when you're multiplying, you do what with the exponents? When you're multiplying, yeah. you do what with the exponents? Add. Add. 